Hey y'all, welcome back to third grade, chapter three. This is lesson three. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So all we're gonna do is follow the prompts that it give us, and we're gonna do the jumps and then write in what it is. Okay. So we're gonna go three groups of five. So five. 10, and then 15. That's three bumps, five each. We landed on 15, okay? So, two groups of six, so two times six, and they landed on 12, okay? All right, we're gonna go down and do the very bottom. This is Allie is baking muffins for students in her class. There's six muffins in each baking tray she bakes five trays so six times five we'll count by five six times so five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty muffins okay a snack package has four cheese sticks how many cheese sticks are in four packages well four packs and four cheese sticks in each one, well, four, eight, 12, 16. 16 cheese sticks. Okay, we're gonna go into the back where you guys are gonna do the lesson check, just like always. Okay, and we're gonna do this for our review. But it says, estimate the sum. Well, estimate, so 518, would round to about 500. 251, we could do 250 or we could do 300 because it's over 250. So let's do 300. And we're gonna add those together because it says sum and it's adding. So zero, zero, five plus three is eight. So about 800. Okay. Which number would you put in a frequency table to show this, well, when you have four down and one diagonal, that's automatically five. And then there's three more. So five plus three is eight. Okay. A manager of a shoe store received an order for 346 pairs of shoes. What if 346 rounded to the nearest hundred? Well, so I'm going to go over here. Okay. So we want to know round to the nearest hundred. Okay. So we have to look at the next number, and if it's five or bigger, then that's going to go up to a four. If it's five or if it's four or smaller, then it's going to stay a three. Well, four is smaller than five, so we're going to round to 300. Okay? Toby is making a picture graph. Each picture of a book is, full, is equal to two books. Okay? The row for the month for month one has three pictures. So two times three, that would be six. So six books. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 3.3. Come on back for 3.4. See you soon.